All right, guys, what is going on? This is A.V. Watchman, and you're tuned in to United We Stand. Before I get into this video, I need to make a very small disclaimer. In the beginning, I told people it was okay to use my videos. It was okay to spread the word and let the world know about our California city missing boys. To every last person who actually used the videos to spread the word about the boys, I truly appreciate you. And I'm sure the world appreciates you as well. But to the ones who had and still do have a very nasty, wicked, evil agenda, then guess what? If I catch any of my videos being shown in a negative light where it's taken away from the boys and you are making this about yourself and about your YouTube channel and tagging my name on your videos just because you want more people to see your videos and go with your theory, well, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to put a copyright strike on your channel. And if your channel is monetized and you're monetizing my material, guess what else I'm going to do? Not only am I going to put a copyright strike on that ass, any monetization that you have made on that video will come directly to my channel, period. I don't care who gets mad about it. I've noticed the majority of you guys that are doing that, you guys have had these YouTube channels for like two, three years, four years, five years, whatever, and you got about 100 subscribers or less. You guys are haters. I've seen it. I've seen your comments. I've seen what you guys sit there and say. Oh, he had like 5,000 subscribers when he started this channel. And now he has like 30,000. Oh, my God. What you guys fail to understand is this. Let's go see. Oh, what you know about that? 357,000, 187,000. Yep. This was the main account. So yeah, what you just looked at was my main channel, my main account. I wanted to get away from what I was doing over there on that channel. I've stated it before on live streams that I didn't feel like, I knew I was helping people, but at the same time, helping people actually got me in trouble, which is crazy. And the second account here was mainly going to be for me and my kids until this happened. And that's all I did was show the neighbor's video. So I don't get why all the hate, why people are hating on me the way they are. I mean, it's ridiculous. That guy, A.V. Watchman, he's doing, he's doing something. Did you see what he said? Girl, did you see what he said? Oh, my God, he's making money. Oh, my God. He's racist. A.V. Watchman is racist. Oh, my sister's getting married. <laughs> nah, she got the bling, 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 bling. Oh I know something about A.V. that he don't even know about. I'm calling the cops. Yes, police? Racist people don't eat chicken. What you grubbing on, Mom? I'm grabbing on chicken leg and potato salad. <laughs> chicken leg and potato salad. So, guys, I'm making this video just to uh, set the record straight. It's crazy because I got people saying that I'm racist and that I will not allow black folks to search for the boys. It's unbelievable how people are starting so much drama when it comes down to finding the kids, the people that are actually trying to help. I mean, I'm doing everything that I possibly can to help, but yet I'm hitting roadblocks left and right. People are purposely, purposely sending me on wild goose chases. Go here, go there, go here, go there, go over here, go over there. I'm sure you guys can figure out who are the people that started all this mess. And that's exactly what it is. There's something that gets on my nerves. 
100%. And I cannot tolerate people that are always pulling out the race card. To me, the people that keep doing that are actually slaves in their own mind still. I think some people are just calling me racist because they're jealous of my hair. What I mean by slaves in your own mind still is this. You have to get out of that mentality in order to grow. If you keep that same mentality where you think that the world is picking on you, you will never get ahead in life at all, period. And that's what makes you hate and have this haterade in your system. In a couple years from now, you're only going to be a thought. Every time people will say something about you, it will be in a negative light. Hey, you remember so-and-so? Oh, yeah, that dude's just one big old ball of negative energy. And that's all you're going to be remembered as. So when you die, you will not die as a legend. You will die one day as the person that was negative, that wanted to kick off drama when it comes down to searching for two little baby boys. You're so focused on what A.V. Watchman is doing. It's time to get a life. And get out of that mind frame. I'm sure that somebody is sitting here right now listening to this video and they're plotting. They're having these weird thoughts. They're about to run and go tell somebody what I'm saying. As a matter of fact, they're probably sitting here trying to figure out who's he talking about. So they're going to run with that and believe that they think they know who I'm talking about. And they're most likely going to go and try to kick off some stuff. And that person is going to sit there and think, is he talking about me? Most likely I am, especially if you're feeling guilty about something. If the shoe fits, wear it and wear that shoe good. This is A.B. Watchman and this is United We Stand. This will be the first and last video you guys will see of me addressing this ever again. You will never see this type of address again, period, period. I don't care what you do. I don't care what you say. I do not care to see negative emails or negative messages all up in my inbox. I just don't want to see it. If people continue to send me messages on my email or onto my Facebook Messenger telling me about this person and that person and this person and that person, I will be blocking you. And that's just the way it is. If you don't like what I got to say, then go ahead and unsubscribe. Go ahead and have some class and remove yourself from my Facebook page as well. Life goes on. My whole journey that I'm on right now, I did not ask for this. I don't even know why God laid this out in front of me, but he did. And I'm going to go through with it. And like I always say, what God has started, he will finish. It's not you that's going to finish it. It's not nobody else out there that's going to finish it, but God. So when he says stop, I'll stop. Until then, I'm going to keep on searching Keep on looking for the boys while you can keep on hating. Keep on sitting there clicking on my videos wondering if I'm talking about you. A.B. Watchmen with United We Stand. I want to say thank you to every last one of you guys who are truly here because you are very concerned about the boys. When you wake up in the morning, you're thinking about the boys. When you go to sleep at night, you're thinking about the boys. This is actually making a lot of people sick. People love these boys and they cherish these boys and we need to find out what happened to the boys. A.B. Watchman and I'm signing out. I salute every last one of you who are truly here for the right reasons. I also want to remind you guys that I have a super stalker, a super psychopath who has an email address that looks like mine who has a YouTube channel that looks like mine. The only thing is, his YouTube channel is lowercase, AV Watchman United We Stand, minus uppercase. His email address is Antelope V Watchman, M-A-N, minus Antelope V Watchman, M-E-N. So if you guys are sending emails to the M-A-N account, that is not me. If you guys see lowercase YouTube AV Watchmen, United We Stand, lowercase, that is not me. This person is psychotic. And most of you guys know exactly who I'm talking about. I don't even understand why some of you guys are subscribed. I don't need to say the guy's name, but you guys think about it real hard. When he showed up, the drama started. And that's all I'm going to say. I'm out, guys.